Yes. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the channel. In uh, this video, I just talk about here a little bit about the gears. Last time I was talk about uh, using the 4x5 film with the Ebony camera and the VX125 Toyo, also with digital back face one. And uh, my other wonderful format, I use the 5x7 for doing uh, contact print, mostly black and whites. And uh, also recently I discovered uh, a split uh, holder. I can shoot uh, two, uh, show you the film back here. There's a 6x17. I use a, a split dark slide to the film holder and I can shoot 6x17 for this camera. Two frames per sheet film. So one sheet film holder I can expose for uh, negatives with this camera so here's the film holder here and uh, I'm going to expose a top and a bottom flip over and expose the top and the bottom so I'm going to have four uh, exposed film put it in a holder like this and uh, this is my other uh, discovery I did. So I don't have to carry the raw film holder anymore, which is a little weight savings. And uh, by the way, this camera is a Toyo G2. And that's a monorail. It's a little bit heavy and bulky. It's about 10, 11 pound and uh, have to be a special box to carry and don't fit on my backpack and uh, but that's a very very nice uh, way to use movements shift swing tilt raise and fall the same exact same movement on the front very generous uh, center tilt and this crossbar here this is for a uh, raise and fall but that make even more stable the camera there's no vibration absolutely uh, no itty bitty weaking point for this camera but like I said the only downside is it's a little bit heavy not like a Shanghao, which is super light, or uh, the new uh, <coughs> Intrepid, but they also uh, I have a feeling about that very lightweight camera is going to be shaking a little bit in the fields, especially when have winds, and have to be watched because when you take an exposure, a longer one, it's going to be affect your picture. So uh, I'm very happy with this one, it's relatively cheap. I use a 300 millimeter lens with it, a 110, a 225, it's a portrait lens for a studio, black and whites. And I also use a 90 millimeter XL, which is uh, super, super wide on that format. So uh, that's just about what I want to show you the 5x7 today. And I'm continuously doing my darkroom, develop the film, and make some uh, nice uh, silver gelatin prints. And uh, by the way, this uh, camera I'm also planning to use a wet plate. I have some. 5x7 plates, I have a special holders and uh, 
that'll be a nice wet plate camera as well. So thank you for watching and uh, have a good night everybody. Bye.